students my name is sumit mehta today in this lecture we will discuss about triangle as part of rectangle so let me draw the rectangle first students this is a rectangle of side a b c d okay so this is length and this is breadth of rectangle and if i join this diagonal ac so what i will get here is this is rectangle 1 and this is rectangle sorry this is triangle 1 and this is triangle 2 so whenever you cut the rectangle along its diagonal you will get two triangle so what we will discuss here is this triangle as part of the rectangle so if i if i am asked to find out the area of each triangle as students i am dividing the whole figure in two equal parts so the area of both the triangles will be equal which will be half of the area of rectangle okay because this is we are dividing the rectangle into two parts by its diagonal so what i will get here is the area of rectangle is as i told you in my previous lecture what is the area of rectangle and if you are still not remember what is the area of rectangle then please pause the video here and watch my video of on perimeter and area there i gave the example of rectangle in the starting okay so this is l into b so can i write half into l into b is the area of each rectangle students okay <coughs> and in case of square square is a special case of rectangle okay let's say if i join these two diagonals my drawing is not that good students so kindly bear with me that this is a square a b c d let me draw this part again okay so this is a square in which i join two diagonals so here i am getting four triangles so area of each triangle will be 1 by 4 means there are four so it will be 1 by 4 into area of square so let's say the side of square is s so what is the formula for area of square is side into side means s square by here it is 4 Four. So the area of the triangle when we join two diagonals of a square will be s square by four. So students, these formulas might come into exam directly that you have to find out the area of a triangle in a parallelogram, okay, and area of the each triangle in a square. So please do remember these two formulas by your heart, and the questions might come into exam based on this. so let me discuss some question based on this so student here is a question in which it states that a square of side 10 cm is divided into four triangles so let me draw the picture first this is a square of side 10 cm and it is saying the square is divided into four triangles by joining both the diagonals so let's say it is a b c d this point is o and i have to find out the area of each triangle means these are four triangles so let me color all these triangle this is one this is second okay and this is third and this you can say is 
fourth one okay so these four triangles are of equal area and i have to find out the area of each triangle so what i will write is 1 by 4 into s square as i told you the formula so s is 10 into 10 so this will be 2500 by 4 will be 25 centimeter square so the area of the each triangle will be 25 centimeter square so i hope students now you can easily solve the question in which you have to find out the area of the triangle where you are given the rectangle or square next we will discuss the area of triangle when we are given a parallelogram so and if you have still any doubt in this lecture then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you Happy learning students.